the engines are quiet as participants of the I-500 rest the day before the big race. But downtown, the cash registers are ringing nonstop. The I-500, um, it means at least a 20% bump in revenue for the week, which is very welcome uh, over a period of, you know, uh, low business in January and February uh, compared to the height of tourism. In the week leading up to the race, business owners host promotional events, pub crawls, and seat giveaways. It really helps out all the businesses overall throughout town, just bringing people in town. It's a fun week here in the Sioux. The crowds that accompany the race have been especially beneficial to local hotels, with every single room having been booked solid for weeks. I would say at least six weeks we've been call we make sure we call around to see what's a vacancy because people call us all the time. And there was no hardly any vacancy and it filled, it, it just keeps, I got a phone call today, Linda we got three rooms and with, while I was talking to them on the phone, they were down to one room. So while participants prepare for tomorrow's race, the Sioux economy already feels like a winner. In Chippewa County, Michael Gordon, 7 and 4 News.